It's that time of year again. It's back to school time of year. Dun, 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 dun. And that made me think of this devotional today. So today we're going to talk about how you can prepare for the new year in this new school year effectively as a family. By the way, my name is Tom Pounder. I'm the online campus pastor here at New Life Christian Church. And I was getting my kids ready for back to school. Some go to college, so we're getting different things and supplies ready. One's still in high school, and we're, I'm looking at different back to school specials for her as well as I'm preparing to get her ready for school. But as I was preparing, I'm like, you know what? This is just stressful. <laughs> this is anxious. And I know a lot of parents go through the, this as well. And again, it's not just all getting about the supplies, but it's about how do you really start the new year strong, the new school year strong. And so I just thought about it's just a few different things that you could do as a family and that would help you start the new year strong and keep it going strong all throughout the year. And it all has to do with keeping our focus on God. I know you might be thinking, well, Tom, you're a pastor. You have to keep your focus on God. You have to tell us to keep our focus on God. But it's true. Honestly, it's very true. And I think the more that we can focus on God and God's guidance, God's direction for us in our lives and for our family's lives, the more that we can handle anything that comes through us during the school season and during the school year. And so today I'm going to just share three simple things that you can do as a family to really start the new year strong of the school year but also keep it going strong all throughout. And the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to take time to pray as a family. Take time to just spend time praying every single day, whether it's at night, whether it's in the morning, whether it's together as a family, which would be ideal, or together with just one or two of your kids as you just prepare for the school year. I just, I know this, the school year can be full of anxiety. Even if you are one of the most well-liked people going into the new school year, you can still feel anxious about what lies ahead. I, I remember this specifically. I was I went to Robinson High School in Fairfax, Virginia, and it was a seventh grade year, and we're starting the new school year, and the bus is literally pulling up to the front of the building. I'm fine up until that point, and then I start I start crying. I'm, I'm like trying to shield myself against the school bus window. I'm just like crying because I'm so anxious. I'm so nervous about what lies ahead. There was so much unknown about what I was going to get ready to walk into. Now, as I walked into it, again, the school year was fine. But I wonder, too, how much of a difference it would have made if I would have just spent time praying right then and there. You know, Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, transcends all of it, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And the reality is that when we offer our anxiety, our stresses to God, God guides, guides us and leads us. And so today I want to just encourage you to pray together as your family. Again, it could be dinner time. It could be at night before you guys go to bed. It could be in the morning before the kids go off to school. Whatever that time is, I want to encourage you to commit time to pray together as a family and grow together and so that you're giving all your cares, all your worries, all your stresses to God and let him lead you um, through them all. When we give it away to God, he really does provide us answers and ways to get through every situation that we go through. The second thing is to take time to grow together as a family. Like again, praying together is fantastic. You got to do that. But growing together and growing in our knowledge of God can really help us through all situations. Again, the Bible has so many great life lessons that we can take with us as we go about our day, whether you're a parent or whether you're a student. There are so many great life lessons. And if you stay committed to reading scripture together, reading the Bible together, you can really help. It can really help you grow as a family, but also help you deal with those situations as they come about because you can say, hey, listen, I remember when this happened. In the Bible, this will help me deal with this situation today. God's guidance, God's wisdom, and God's word is so helpful in that situation. And the cool thing about it is that we have so many Bible study plans that you can be a part of. In particular, we have a family ministry plan that you can go through that we send you a Bible study reading every single morning at 7 a.m., whether it's the weekend or the weekday. It comes to your mailbox at 7 a.m., 
And in it, it's got a scripture to read, a little scripture to kind of highlight for the day, a short little devotion, three to four sentences, and a question or two to ask each other and answer and process together. It's a short little thing, but it comes right to your phone, it comes right to your computer, and you can process it together in whether it's in the morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, whenever it is. But if you email Cindy O'Connor, Cindy O at newlife.church, she would be happy to put you on the mailing list so you can get these every day that they come out. They change throughout the season of you know different themes throughout this school year, but they're fantastic and they're really practical and applicable for you and your family. And the last thing is just to take part in being a part of community. And at New Life, we have a lot of different options for that, but one of the things is to attend Sunday services. You know, the stats show that people attend church once or twice a month. That's once or twice a month. That's way different than it was decades ago, but now it's once or twice a month and people are so busy. What if you made church a priority, attending church every single week a priority? And you can be a part of it as a family. And then what you can do is, what I well, this is one of the things I like to do with my family, is that after every Sunday, uh, I, we go home and I say, okay, so what did you learn? What what was something that stood out to you about the sermon? And then we talk about it and we, we grow together as a family. And so it's really cool to be a part of a large group community where you're worshiping together and you're learning together. But it can really help you and your family but then the other thing that you can do is be a part of small groups. You know, there's life groups for adults, there's life groups for teenagers, there's life groups for families. There's lots of great different opportunities for you to grow as a group and be a part of a bigger community. Again, whether it's a smaller group within, within a life group or be a part of a church uh, service, there's lots of great opportunities for you to grow as a community that can really help you process. Because again, when you're part of a life group, guess what? When you're going through something as a family, Someone else is probably going through it as well. So be a part of a life group. If you go to newlife.church slash groups, you can get a part of all the different Bible studies, all the different life groups that are happening at New Life right now. There's some online. There's some in person. We'd love for you to be a part of it, but go to, to newlife.church slash groups. Okay, so there you have it. Three things that you can do to start the year strong, but also keep going strong all throughout the year. Pray together. Grow together and be a part of community, both a large group and then a smaller group community. That will really help you get your school year started strong and keep it strong all year long. If you got thoughts, if you got questions, if you got things that you would add on to this, like maybe a fourth one or a fifth one, definitely put it in the comment section below, or you can even email me at Tom P at newlife.church. I'd love to talk to you a little bit more about this. Let's pray, and I'm going to pray for your school year as well. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. And I'm just offering right now that everyone who's listening to this devotional, that you, that you be with them this school year, that they would take some of these uh, things that they can do, some of these ways that they can start the school year strong and grow closer to you and grow closer as a family. And as we enter a new year full of anxiety and unknown, I just pray that you would guide us, you would direct us, and you would lead us, and that we would know it is you and your wisdom and we would follow that today. So Lord, give us guidance, give us direction on how we live this year. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for being with me, everyone. Today, I pray that you have a blessed rest of your day.